What's up, team? Mr. Rato here. Okay, back to Hidden Quadratics Part 2. Now, some of these questions are going to be a bit more trickier than what we've done previously, but let's see how it goes, and let's work it from there. So, let's do Part A first of all. all right. Um, I've got a hidden quadratic here. It's, it's solving this, putting it this into this form. So, that form is going to be exactly the same as that. Let's just write this down first of all. We want x to the power minus, uh, sorry, x to the power 4, minus 4x to the power 3, minus 7x squared, and we need to put it in this form, so we're going to put that in the form x squared minus px, all squared, minus q squared the q here all right now before we start here what i'm going to do is i'm on the right hand side i'm going to square this out so let's just do a bit of working let's see a bit of space here so x x squared minus px all squared is the same as x squared minus px squared means times by itself x times x squared times x squared is x to the power of 4 x squared times minus px is going to be minus p now x squared times x is going to be x cubed the same thing is going to happen here so that's going to be minus p x cubed two negatives to become one is positive p times p is p squared and x times x is x squared. All right, so now let's just simplify this. That's going to be x to the power 4 minus 2px cubed plus p squared x squared. I'm going to change this and write that in this form. So that's going to give me x to the power 4 minus 2 p x cubed plus p squared x squared and that's going to go minus q x squared now what we're going to do here this is going to be exactly the same as this so we're going to match we're going to match um the coefficients of each one. So if we match, if I put a 1 there, that's the same as 1 times x squared, and that's 1, so they are the same, so that's not a problem. If we match our cubes, x cubes together, so let's just match all the x cubes. Okay, actually I'm going to do that again, it's a bit messy. So I'm going to match the x cubes. That's going to give me, I've got minus 4x cubed on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, I've got minus 2p cubed. So therefore, that implies p is equal to, we can divide this by minus 2. So p is going to give me 2. So we've done what p is, sorted. All right. So next thing, I'm going to match the x squares up. Okay, that's the only one to match up now. So when I match the x squares up, how many x squares I've got here? I've got minus 7. And how many x squares have I got on this side? Now we've got p squared. Got p squared x squared minus q x squared. Remember p is being squared here and q is by itself is minus q. We need to find what q is. Alright, so we know that p already from here is 2. So then we can say um, that implies that minus 7 is equal to now. 2 squared is 4. That's going to be 4 minus 
minus q. Right? So 4 minus q. So what do I take off 4 to end up with minus 7? First of all, I need to take off the whole 4 and then I take off another 7. So I could either take this to the other side and make it plus. Minus 7 goes to the other one plus. Uh, plus 7, so 4 plus 7 is 11, so therefore Q must equal 11, okay, because 4 take away 11 is minus 7, so we've got what Q is, so now we can put this into this form and say that um, that, let's just replace this further than X to the power of 4, minus 4x cubed minus 7x squared is the same as x squared minus now p is 2 so that's going to be 2x squared all squared minus now q in this case is 11 that's going to be minus 11x squared. Now it says hence here, so that means it would help if we use this form into here. So it does tell you by subbing this, um, by using the substitution, substitution y equals that, solve this equation. Now before we do any substitution of that, because that is coming from here, Let's just have a look what's, what's familiar with this. So that's the same, that's the same, and that is the same. What I'm going to do, I'm going to replace this with this form. Okay, so I'm going to replace all that by what we just done here. So let's just do the start bit. Let's start with this one. See a different color here. Take our time. All right, there's no rush. Main thing is we're understanding it. Once we understand it, we can speed up a bit. So I'm going to replace all this by this, all right, which is this one. So first of all, we've got x squared minus 2x. And that's going to be all squared minus 11x squared. Then I'm going to put this on the end, which is going to be plus 22x. Plus 24. That's going to equal zero. And that's now we're going to transport our hidden quadratic. Now let's give it some um, clue over here. Okay, so our substitution is going to be x squared minus 2x is going to equal uh, y. Just looking at that and looking at this, so already I can see here. If I've got minus, if I take the minus outside, I'm just dealing with this at the moment. If I take the minus outside, and I take the minus 11, in fact, outside, I'll end up with x squared in here, plus 22. Um, so that's two negatives. Make a positive, and put the 2x inside. That's very important to spot that, okay? And that's obviously got no x's in it. That's just a constant by itself. So I'm going to rewrite this into this form. All right? So let's just do that in a different form. I might run out a bit of space, so I might need to open up another page. But let's see what can do here. So we're going to end up with, we're going to get um, x squared minus 2x. That is being all squared, and then I'm taking a minus 11 out here. In the brackets, I've got x squared 
minus minus two minus fifteen minus um, sorry minus uh, two x close the bracket plus twenty four. Now, this is important, so remember where that comes from, minus 11, minus 11 times x squared is minus 11, minus, minus 2, negative 2 become 1, and that's going to give me 22x, so that is the same as that, which we show here. here. And the reason why this was important, because there's your hint here, we got a sub, because hence, by using the substitution in the form this, so we're going to replace that with y now. That because now we're going to get that hidden quadratic coming out. So that's going to end up with being y squared minus 11y plus 24 equals 0. All right. So now we're going to end up trying to solve in this. All right. I need a bit of space. So what I'm going to do is I can get rid of this because I've shown you why that's going to happen. We're trying to solve it in this box here now. So let's just go back to here and rewrite it over here. So let's just say, okay, that means, um, first of all, I can factorize this. Okay, so let's just double check it. So one times 12, 24 ain't gonna happen, two times 12, um, that ain't gonna happen. Um, 3, 8, 16, 24, 3 and 8, job done. Okay, so it's 3 and 8 to factorize it. So straight away, if I factorize this, I'm going to get open bracket, y, close bracket, y here, close bracket, equals 0. So over here, we're going to get, it doesn't matter which way around, we put 3 and 8. They're both going to be the same single, uh, same symbol, negatives. So let's just double check it, y times y is y squared y times minus 8 is minus 8y, minus 3y is minus 11y, and two negatives, two become one, so 3, um, that's going to be a positive, and then 3 times 8, 8, 16, 24, job done. Now, if I go here, and then say, in this form, we can say then y, therefore, y can equal uh, 3 or y can equal 8 right but we haven't solved it yet because we need to solve for what x is so we need to put that back in hmm it's going to be annoying it's going to be putting that back into this form so we're going to end up with x um, 3 equals because we, we had to let we have to let y equals that, so we've got 3 equals x squared uh, minus 2x. In this case, we're going to get 8 equals um, x squared minus 2x. Now, these are both quadratic equations, so I'm just going to put it on one side, and then you can use your calculator to just basically get the answers out. So we end up with x squared minus 2x. Bring this to the side becomes a minus 3 is going to equal 0. And in this case, we've got x squared minus 2x. Bring the 8 to the side, minus 8 is going to equal 0. And if you put those into your calculator, um, we'll, get, um, we, we'll end up with the solutions. You can double check this in your calculators for all of them. We'll end up with solutions. In minus two, in order minus one, three, and four. So this can simply be calculated in your calculator, and you get those answers. All right. Sorry, I ran out of space there, so I had to kind of squeeze this at the end. So I hope that was not too much trouble for you guys. Okay, let's move on. Right, hidden quadratic, um, that's not too bad. Um, so let's just double check how we're going to deal with this. Um, hmm, I said it wasn't too bad. 
Uh, yeah, so what we've got here, um, we've got, I'm going to change this and put it all to one side. So I'm going to, first of all, you should know that x square root is the same as a, x to the half. Okay, so I'm going to get x equals um, x to the half um, plus 12. And then I'm going to say let m equal x to the half. Okay, let's m equal x to the half. And before I do that, just remember here that um, x to the half squared is equal to the half times two is one, so that just equals x. So before I do anything, I'll replace this with x to the half here. Put the square outside. That's giving me x to the half. And that stays the same. Now if I put this, I said let x to the half equal m, I'll get m squared equals m plus 12. Now I'll bring everything to one side, so I'll get m squared minus m minus 12. That's got negative, that's got negative, that's got equal 0. Now I can factorize this, um, which again is not, it's pretty straightforward to factorize, m in each corner. And 3 and 4, 3 times 4 will give me 12. I need the bigger number being negative. I can double check that, m times m, m squared, minus 4m, plus 3m is minus m, and that's going to give me minus 12. So you've got m can equal minus 3. We've got m can equal 4. Now, just got to be careful here. So. We haven't solved it yet for x, so if we go back and say that m is the same as, um, so don't forget to the half, m is the same as x square root, so square root of that equals minus 3, or you got square root of that equals 4. I'm just going to be careful here because from here you can already tell that there are going to be um, no solutions here. There's going to be no solutions here. So when you square root any number, it can't give you a negative. Okay. So we're going to end up with no numbers here. Um, so there's no solutions here. Since this is also positive, so you just got to be careful. And therefore, no solutions in this case. But for this case, you can do x being squared, 4 squared, square both sides, and that's going to give me 16. Now, some of you like might, I'm going to go back to here just to kind of explain this a bit better. So you might say that, oh, actually we can square a minus 3, which will give me a 9. But if, and then the square root of 9 is plus or minus. But just need to consider this root, when we made this root, we took the positive root. Okay, so what we're saying is, when we're taking a positive root of 9, square root, that's going to give me a plus, nine, uh, plus 3, not negative 3, so therefore this will not have any solutions. So just remember that this is a positive root, and that is the reason why this cannot, solutions can't exist here. Okay, we're looking for the positive root of possibly 9, which would have been 3. If it was 3, happy days, like in here. It's got 16, if we took the positive root of 16, it is positive 4. Okay, obviously you can get a minus 4, but we don't want that. We're only interested in the positive roots. And therefore, this is not a positive root and therefore cannot exist. Right? Okay, let's clarify that because that does confuse many of my students.
8. Let's have a look at this last one and solve this equation. Right, uh, this is a hidden quadratic. We just need to be careful and look at what does this mean. So let's just rewrite this 4x uh, plus um, a half. Okay, so let's just break this down. What does that mean? That means 4x um, is being times by another 4 to the power of half. So that's what that means. Okay, so what's the square root of 4 is 2. So we can rewrite this and say, well, this is the same as 2 times 4 to the power x. Right, now I'm looking at this. I'm looking at 4 to the power x. How did it connect? Well, you should also note that um, 2 squared is equal to 4. This is how we're going to connect this all up. Okay, now before we do, let's just replace this for what we've done here. So we've got so far, we've got 2 times um, 4 to the power x minus 17 times 2 to the power x plus 8 is equal to 0. Okay, now as we know this is the case, we can then replace it. I've got 4x. I can replace this 4 by 2 squared x only because I want to bring this 2 back into action, get the hidden quadratic out. And that is the same as 2 to the power 2x, which I can also rewrite as 2 to the power x, and put the 2 outside. Okay, so I'm going to replace this with 2 to the power x in brackets squared. So that's going to be 2 open bracket, 2 to the power x, squared outside, minus 17, times, again, we'll get rid of the times and put a bracket there, put 2x there, close bracket, plus 8, equals 0. Now, now you should exist by the almost spot the hidden quadratic, the quadratic, what's going on? So if we say, let m equal 2 to the power x, we'll end up with, replacing that with m, we'll end up with 2m squared minus 17m plus 8, right? And that's going to be equal 0. So let's just take a second, just trying to think what's going on here. What's going on here? Just looking all... A bit dodgy here, but just take your time. See how I've broken down. First of all, four x, uh, four to the power x plus a half, and then note how I connected the two and the four by getting this, the squares out. Okay. So once we've understood that, once we got this, this is pretty straightforward factorization because you can put m in each corner. And then break this down to 1 and 8. Double the 8 is 16 plus the 1 is 17. So 8 is going to be doubled. 1 in there. This is a positive, so they're both going to be negative. So let's just take a second and do this in the hands. Um, 2m times m is 2m squared. 2m times minus 8 is minus 16m. Minus 16 minus 1 is minus 17m. And minus 1 times minus 8 is positive m. All right, excellent. So, right, we're getting excited now, right? I hope you guys are getting excited looking at this. We're almost there. It looks pretty dodgy, but now, yeah, it's become a bit more um, digestible. And now it's munchy time. So, basically, 2m is equal to 1, or m is equal to 8. 
So m can equal half, and m is equal to eight. Okay, so let's let's change that for the power of x. So we know that m we're bringing it back because we haven't solved it yet. Two to the power of x. Now we're going to be careful here. We should know a half. A half can be written as two to the power of minus one. In this case, I'm going to put uh, m is the same as 2x equals 8. Now, you should know that. And then because of this, the base is the same. The powers must be the same. You can say x is equal to minus 1. OK, just remember that. So uh, because a half is the same as 1 divided by 2 which can be written as, um, um, yeah, well, therefore when it's dividing, okay, you subtract the power, and this can be written as 2 to the power 0 divided by 2 to the power 1, so we'll put it back into the base, you just end up with 2, 0 to equal 1 is minus 1, if you want to justify where that's coming from but you should know this is to the power of minus one okay we'll bring the power up and we'll be minus one now here's likewise you should be able to know that you should recognize that two cubed is going to give me eight recognize that so therefore two cubed can be oops sorry getting ahead of myself So we can say two to the power of two to the power of x is equal to two to the power of three. The base is the same. And now therefore x is gonna equal three.